hello students cheerful morning you all i am sure you all pretty great today we are going to learn a grammar topic uh, finite and non finite verbs okay finite and non finite verbs see verb has two forms it is one is finite verb another one is non finite verb first let's take a look at the finite verb what is finite verb um a finite verb you know it changes the tense and number according to the subject see for example uh, you know this uh, three forms of verb uh, fall fell fall and eat ate eaten sing sang sung uh, talk talked talked so these are present form as talk past form as talked past participle form as talked so as per the tense the present past future as per the tense it changes the verb changes this is finite verb clear leave left left lose lost lost make made made so when we talk about past things we use a past verb i heard singing or i heard his talk like that uh, when we talk about the present tense that time we talk about we use the present form fly forget get give give me a pen um do you have a pencil like that we use what is present verb this is what finite verb clear so here finite verb change change its tense and number according to the subject Uh, see a few examples given here. Arun invited Suresh to his daughter's birthday. So invited, right? Here invite invited past form is given. Her friends presented the girl with a toy. Presented. His friend presented a watch. See here, words which denotes action are called verb. What is verb? Action words. it has two types finite and non finite so finite verb indicates tense and the time of action when it has occurred past future or present that is what so it changes according to the subject according to the subject means say i play cricket or i write a letter at the same time uh, he if you use the subject he then how does it change he plays cricket he writes a letter so all the verb add yes okay see example he plays tennis daily he played past form played tennis yesterday he has played present perfect tennis just now he has played just now the uh, action got over he is playing tennis now yeah now at the present it's going on present present can no the tense has changed right he has been playing tennis since morning has been playing okay when since morning he has been playing so as per the tense the verb changes so this is finite verb i hope you are clear this finite verb right let's move to non finite verb what is non finite verb see non finite verbs there are three types what are they gerund infinitive then present participle past participle gerund infinitive and participle in participle there are two types present participle and the past participle form okay non finite verb have no subject and it do not change according to the tense or number Yeah, that is what the difference between finite and non-finite. It never changes as per the subject. Moreover, it has no tense form. It never denotes the tense form. Non-finite verbs are broadly classified as follows. What are they? Gerund, infinitive, present participle, past participle. Okay. So here, let's look at the what is gerund. or infinitive see uh, here 
non finite verb it doesn't indicate a tense and it doesn't change according to the subject there are three types of non finite verbs what are the infinitive gerund and participle see uh, infinitive now with the present verb what are the verb action what is verb action words right sing talk walk so with this present form of this verb we add to infinitive you know well to walk to play to sing to talk to run this is what all the verb with the verb we need to add what is to so infinitive to plus present form of the verb is called a infinitive let's uh, take a look at the example see he agreed to buy me a computer see um, look at the sentence he agreed here can you find the finite verb what is the finite verb here agreed see agree agreed agreed to buy to buy is non finite it never denotes the tense so here tense form is agreed past form okay this action occurred in the past he agreed to buy me a computer then to buy this is infinitive then the mother wants to meet you wants this is what the verb present form of the verb finite verb to meet that is non finite verb to meet you i would like to have a cup of tea to have like is the finite verb to have is non finite verb he spent hours to repair the bicycle to repair i don't want to repeat again to repeat want is the finite verb so please don't confuse yourself it is too difficult to understand this problem too difficult to understand everybody wishes to enjoy life i want i went to chennai to meet my cousin went past form finite verb to meet my cousin to meet is the non finite verb infinitive i hope to get a certain sentiment max i hope to get sentiment max then he wanted to send the letter by registered post tomorrow to send clear then here one thing you need to note what is that sometimes the infinitive is used without to it never mention add the to when it is used after the verbs such as bid feel hear help no let make see watch etc uh, these are the places these are the verbs when we use sometimes the to is hidden here we call such infinitives as plain infinitives or bare infinitives see all the places to never take place okay certain places it is hidden example look at this example she made me do my project so which is the finite and non finite here infinitive can you identify she made this is finite verb she made me after that do us so here to us hidden me to do that to us hidden here do my project Uh, when you read textbook definitely you come across such sentences then a uh, jailer the jailer helped the musician compose music in prison see the jailer helped the musician so here helped is the finite verb to compose to is hidden here okay this is called what is bare infinitives or plain infinitives composing music in prison right then the speaker made the parents realize the importance of music the speaker made the parents realize to realize that to is hidden here the importance of music clear nothing will make me change my mind nothing will make me make will make it denotes the tense form future tense right will make me 
what is to change that to is hidden where infinity right change my mind mother made her clean the old house mother made her clean the old house let here what is clean as the non finite infinity okay let us visit the village festival the teacher did not let us consult others while writing the test let us consult right then they watch the thief run across the road so this is what in this infinity certain places to is hidden that is called bare infinity or plain infinity other places verb plus to present verb plus to okay that is what infinity it is quite easy for you clear then let's move to gerund you might have studied gerund verb with ing form okay uh, so immediately you should not take it as um, what is uh, continuous form all the verb with ing form see here gerund you know it act as a noun uh, see uh, it is a form of a verb which end in ing and it has a um force of a noun and a verb noun and verb it is called verbal noun so it is called verbal noun doesn't indicate any continuous action so by uh, by hearing uh, walking talking running uh, you cannot decide this uh, it is a continuous form not like that here this gerund you know act as a noun Uh, walking is good for uh, health or writing is my hobby so writing here it plays a subject okay now see the example walking is a good habit walking uh, it is not a verb here it act as a subject okay now walking is a good habit then learning a new language is not easy learning a new language gerund maximum gerund start with at the beginning of the sentence then barking dogs seldom bite seldom meaning rarely okay so barking gerund playing chess is my hobby playing chess is my hobby this is what is gerund right see here um gerund you know running is a good way to explore running see gerund it acts as noun okay um, at the beginning then see it plays as object also he likes running he likes swimming he likes singing so the subject and object plays as the role of object so that is gerund so he likes a running then uh, i am thinking of running i am thinking of talking i am thinking of playing so these are gerund preposition okay as the object of a preposition so like this uh, various place it used then subject complement my new hobby is running so my new hobby that is subject that object is what is complement okay subject complement is running here so running is gerund clear then c reading is uh, relaxing you can identify the gerund right then she considered quitting my mother spent her life teaching right so please uh, don't confuse yourself with the finite and non finite verbs okay here main point is gerund act as a noun form clear then let's move to participle form participle already i told you present participle and past participle here participle you know it act as an adjective form so gerund noun form participle act as an adjective form see uh, for example in finite verb talk talked talked so what is which is the part past participle there talked so in that tense form 
participle talked. Uh, sing, sang, sung. Sung is the past participle. So this part of past participle, you know, here it plays as a role of an adjective. See the example. Examples of past participle being used as adjectives. Here are some examples of past participle as being used as adjectives. The verb to swell, to break. This is infinity. Okay. So how does it change? Swell and ice. So it is adjective. Usually adjective modify the subject, right? So swell and ice, broken plate, ruined cake. These are past participle here it never denotes the swell and it never denotes the tense form which means finite form okay don't take like that here it plays as what does act as an adjective form fine see this present participle and past participle the rising sun past one the rising sun adjective form right the boiling water the boiled water um, water what is the present condition boiled boiling right so plays as the role of adjective the breaking news the broken news the cooking ham the cooked ham these are see this examples definitely you come across this the present participle to explain a reason the present participle can be used instead of a phrase starting with as since or because in this usage the participle phrases explain the cause or reason for an action example see feeling hungry so feeling feeling hungry this one is present participle okay feeling hungry he went to the kitchen and to open the fridge being poor being pure here he did not spend too much on clothes then knowing the his mother knowing that his mother was coming he cleaned the flat these are the reasons he whispered thinking his brother was still asleep so participle present participle the reason okay it plays in the role of reason then see here it was an amazing film. See, amazing. That is present participle. It described the film. Which type of film? Amazing one. So, here this amazing is not a finite verb. Okay. It acts as an adjective. Then dark billowing clouds. Dark billowing clouds often precede a storm. He was trapped inside a burning house. Burning house. Which type of house it is? Burning house. Many of her paintings show the setting sun. Setting sun. So these are participle. Okay, place the uh, act as an adjective. Then see here, driven, past participle. Driven by ambition. Driven by ambition. See driven, drive, draw, driven. Past participle. By ambition, direct worked up to 14 hours a day. Exhausted from the marathon. Exhausted. Past participle. The runner collapsed onto the ground. Illuminated by multicolored lights, the skyscraper looked incredible. Incredible, unbelievable. So here, illuminated, exhausted, driven, all these are past participle. Fine. Then, my boss spends two hours a day traveling to Oak. See here, to work, you know, the boss, his boss, you know, spends two hours a day traveling. Okay, the a day traveling. Here it mentioned the, see, verb plus time, money, expression, plus present participle. Fine. Don't waste time playing computer games. Don't waste time playing computer games. They have spent the old day shopping. The old day shopping. I wasted money buying his game fine uh, let's uh, do this exercise uh, try to find out this one whether gerund or uh, uh, what is infinitive i mean infinitive or uh, participle varun gave up smoking a few years ago so he is smoking what is that gerund or participle varun gave up smoking 
So it's an object, right? Smoking is a what is gerund. Then a flying bird is more watchful than a sitting bird. See, flying bird, sitting bird. So what are they? This is participle, adjective form, right? Act as an adjective. A flying bird. Describing the bird, it is flying, then sitting. Similarly, next one, the frightened boy. See, frightened, past participle. Frightened boy. Frightened meaning fearful. Jumped over the wall. The traveling salesman arrived in town. Which type of man? Traveling. So it is participle. The class watched an interesting movie. Interesting movie. The running deer. See, the running deer was shot. Killed. So it is present participle. He doesn't like teaching. He doesn't like teaching. So teaching here. What is Gerund, right? He doesn't like what? Subject. Teaching, okay. Smoking is injurious to health. So smoking is, what is? Gerund. The singing bird was beautiful. Singing bird. So participle. Injured man. Waited for help. Injured man. Participle. The fallen leaves. So these are past participle. Had different colors see here non-finite verbs it is dangerous to drive on her slippery road to drive it is infinitive verb with to we are ready to play now to play i felt it difficult to comprehend comprehend meaning understand fine then i needed a sound sleep to calm my mind to calm it is good to know that you can cook as well. We ate a lot of roasted meat. See, roasted meat. What is that? Participle. Okay. Past participle. Which type of meat? Roasted. So, it acts as an adjective. I have completed the given task. See, the given task. Give, give, given. Past participle. Then I do not drink boiled water. See, boiled water because of its weird taste. Weird meaning strange taste. So clear this. Let's conclude. So finite verb, two types are there. Finite and non-finite verb. See, when you are reading your textbook, just keep this um, gerund infinitive participle in your mind and to read. Definitely you can find the difference. Okay. Um, so, two types. Finite and non-finite. Finite denotes tense. Non-finite never denotes a tense. So, non-finite, non um, see what are the... Uh, types gerund infinitive and participle and participle two types are there present participle and past participle i hope you understood this topic then please do book back exercises clear thank you meet you in the next class